Friends, goodness and wisdom to everyone, welcome at the Summary Club. Today I will tell you about one of the most effective ways to achieve success and weight loss in the shortest possible time. Believe me, the destiny of a real person is the best motivation for women. This psychological tip hack is really suitable for every girl at any age, and for guys in principle too, but the main thing is that it has dramatically changed my life, helped me become a successful woman, got rid of my fear of being happy, and gave me an understanding of how to get the man of my dreams. So I would like to tell you how even from a single cat owner to become a successful, and most importantly, the most loved and desired women by men. Yes, there is gender inequality in our world, but who, if not us, will bend this system to our liking? I hope you can help my story, because not so long ago I was an ordinary woman. As is commonly said now, I was gray mouse, and in addition, I went to a psychologist for almost three years, and we have not moved a single step, the boss still boorish and humiliated me, of hobbies were only shows and movies, and the other half of the bed is still empty. Finally, the question appeared in my head, so how to achieve success, lose weight, and become loved by men, women? I was at the beginning, if not at the bottom, that is still in search of myself and my place in life, and Instamodels only added fuel to the fire with their photos with bouquets and decorations from private jets and yachts. And yes, many would say that starting out is a very good position, especially if you are young and full of energy and have your whole life ahead of you. But I'm not 20 anymore, and I had no money, no career, and no successful, handsome man. Even my old cat looked at me with disapproval when I came home from work to an empty apartment. But it was my 35th birthday that killed me. I only met it in the company of my cat. My best friend could not come, and my colleagues in the office did not even remember. I wanted to howl with despair, and maybe even go out the window. Half of my life is gone, and, mind you, the best half, and I have achieved nothing. I have remained in the herd, work like everyone else, hobbies like everyone else, education like everyone else, and life, as I hope you already understand, is also like everyone else. I was already three and a half decades old, and I had no achievements other than a diploma for participating in a school competition in elementary school. I wondered what I had been doing all those 35 years, how I could achieve success and get the man of my dreams if I couldn't remember a single significant event. But I just choked on a glass of cheap booze from the realization of my own worthlessness. My favorite book from my childhood was Harry Potter. It was about a boy who managed to become special among special people. In the world of wizards, in a special cast of people, where not everyone can get, and he managed, being a total ignoramus, to make his way, and even write his story in golden colors. But I too, a little girl from the backwoods, wanted to be special, better, brighter, more successful. My psychotherapy of that time was not a cure-all, it was just a painkiller to assuage the symptoms of my illness. I wanted to go out the window less, of course, but life was just as hopelessly gray as before. At this point in my life, I could not be described as a thin, successful woman who was adored by men. The starting point of my new life was a reminder that popped out of my Google Calendar. A year ago I broke up with the man I loved, I was dumped, and I did everything to get revenge, mantras, affirmations, graveyard incantations, burning his photo with church candles, candles for his passing, and even a voodoo doll. Then I set a timer for a year with the question, is it bad for him? How about you? Have you lost weight? Made any money? Have you been successful? I don't know what it was like with him. We didn't communicate, but with me, everything was stable and hopeless. That's when I decided it was time to change something. This is the best motivation for a woman like me. It all started with responsibility. I realized that no magic, no mantras, no incantations would help me, only myself. The most important realization was that all the troubles and troubles in our lives, which we try to cure with promiscuity, work, psychologist and alcohol, originally come from wrong self-esteem. That is, everything. You're forced to lie because you're not sure of yourself that people will accept the real you. You're forced to live in a relationship you don't like because you're not sure of yourself, and anyway, who else but him needs me like this? You work for three pennies because you're not sure you can demand five, or even all ten for your skills. You walk around dissatisfied because you're insecure, you think your life is boring, stupid, unpromising, and you have no idea how to change it, and instagirls and boys show over and over again with their success that you are at the very social bottom of this life. But there is a solution, 
and it is much easier than it seems. This is good news. But then again, in order to change things, you can't relax all the way. You really have to work hard. And that was bad news for many people, just as it was for me at the time. But I won't keep you in suspense. The secret of success, weight loss, attracting the man of my dreams, comfort in life and peace of mind for me is a fundamental, clear and boundless respect for myself put in the basis of every action, gesture and word. You have to love yourself for who you are. That's the biggest load of crap I've ever heard. Because this kind of love, let's face it, especially with us women, and most often even with men, is based on self-pity and compassion. Do you really think that true self-love is all about baths with scented foam, body creams, 15 different serums on your face, and your favorite TV series with chips? This kind of self-love is about pleasure, not a tale of success. Self-respect is the real foundation of any success. Self-respect and adequate self-esteem are synonymous. And with adequate self-esteem you no longer have to lie to please others, buying bling in the form of Louis Vuitton bags at half your salary to appear cooler, or putting up with someone who doesn't appreciate you because you can't find a better one. Believe me, there's nothing wrong with being alone. You don't have to endure the disrespect and rudeness of others, because when you really respect yourself, others can't disrespect you either. The only question is where this real self-respect is taken, and where it comes from in the first place. For example, if Marie comes to the psychologist with her problem, a competent specialist will first of all work with self-respect and self-esteem. After all, naturally, Marie would not leave even the most insolent bastard until she was sure she was worthy of more. Until she stops lying to herself first of all, and realizes that she is an interesting person, even without all these contrived lies and pretense. Another question is that if Marie is a nobody from the very beginning, then of course, no psychologist can help her. No matter how much your mother tells you that you're good, that you're smart, and you deserve the best, until you live up to your own values and start respecting yourself, all this work is useless. And in order to really respect yourself, you must first understand what kind of person you will respect, well, or whom you envy with black envy, if you cannot yet respect, in general, what you have to become, so that self-respect for yourself turned into your inner credo. Write on a piece of paper everything that comes to mind about your future ideal, your real dream of yourself, how she looks, what clothes she wears, where she works, what she does in her spare time, how she relaxes, what others think of her, and, of course, where she lives and what's on her personal front. This will help you achieve the right self-awareness. Personally, I try to avoid any material factors as much as possible, because it is true what they say that with certain inner values and character money itself comes in hand, and if there was an inheritance, but values are lame, then the money will fly quickly to the wind, along with them also imaginary success. I got this picture of the ideal self. This person knows at least two foreign languages, one of which is at a working level, the other of the European group of languages at a level sufficient for travel. This person does not have a single gram of excess weight. Of course, the abs are not necessarily visible, but at least the annoying fatty folds are not hanging down. Work necessarily in a top position or freelance at your discretion, but not for an uncle. The obligatory presence of endurance and the ability to perform at least basic standards of physical activity, regular reading of business and professional literature, the absence of unhealthy food in the diet, and it is because I do not want to, not because I have to. She generally has such an interesting life that she doesn't even need a hamburger and chips to enjoy it because she can read at any time or take up a hobby to produce those same endorphins. It doesn't matter what she does, all that matters is that she makes a product in the premium segment, the most expensive nails, the highest quality doors, or the most beautiful stained glass windows. She simply creates something to be truly proud of. She effectively controls her emotions, so it is impossible to break her. It is impossible to take her out of herself and tear off her mask. After all, she is a very deft manipulator and, most importantly, a wise woman. And she is so successful at it, that without detailed analysis, it is not even obvious that she is manipulating. That is why everyone around her thinks that happiness and success comes to her by itself, although this is not entirely true. And, of course, she always looks good, even though she is dressed inexpensively. There are never any brands on her clothes. 
she is confident enough not to be stamped by Louis Vuitton or Gucci. Her personal uniqueness and individuality are more important than any stamp or tag on her clothes. As a result of reading books, of course, she is erudite enough to support a conversation on any topic but she does not use her advantage because she always tries to keep up with the interlocutor rather than towering, pushing others by their authority. She knows many poems by heart both in her native language and in foreign languages and can even refer to the correct source at the right moment. She lives by her own code of laws, which she does not need to confirm. She cannot be manipulated or have her morals imposed on her. One can only negotiate with her. She doesn't care about gender inequality between men and women. She always helps when she has the resources and opportunity, but never to her own detriment. This is what a successful woman looks like to me. I got a short text like this. I was bursting with two opposing feelings, pride in what I could become very soon, but also resentment from within. Where am I now? And where is the ideal of my future? But the road to success was started and the first step was taken. Now I woke up 10 minutes earlier every day to stand in the plank before work and fell asleep an hour later with an audiobook in my ears. In line and on the way home, instead of my Instagram feed, I clicked the app on foreign language words, noting the correct meaning. The first victories were pretty funny, 15 second plank instead of 10, five guest words instead of just one, something tasty for dinner in a salad instead of pizza, minus just one pound on the scale. Of course, none of this was great, but life, even in this first month of my new life, was already playing with new colors, turning into an interesting competition with myself yesterday. This small success was the best motivation to keep going. How many seconds will I hold the plank tomorrow? How many words will I guess today? What will be in the next chapter of the business management book? I wonder if the beet and carrot salad is really good. But the important thing is how great my girlfriend and I rode our bikes by the sea yesterday. Well, along with the new hobbies came a new circle of interest acquaintances. And even though I didn't get along with all of them at once, before that I had no acquaintances or interests at all. And now there were so many new things in my life that I even began to run out of space which meant I had to throw out something bad. I was able to throw out girlfriends and acquaintances who didn't even remember my birthday date, while naturally not being afraid to be alone. And now, after several years of living this life in the right direction toward my dream, I can say with confidence. I had been looking for support in work, money, circumstances, friends and psychologists for a very long time, and I found it unexpectedly in myself. Only I was able to make myself a successful woman in whom men of dreams fall in love. Then, after two and a half months I was offered a job as an administrator at a yoga center, where I practiced. The salary, however, was the same, but there was much more free time, and the staff was friendly. Now I had some time to study Italian. And six months later, I met an Italian man from Rome on a site for learning languages together. Well, today I stood in the plank for a whole seven minutes, and I have been living in Rome for quite a long time. And, as I think you have already guessed, our wedding took place a few weeks ago. And yes, that's all for now, but the best part is just beginning. So it's time for me to go on building the life of a successful woman with the man of my dreams. But even that is already an incredible progression to what I had just a few years ago in my life. So girls I wish all of you do not just sit and love yourself on the couch, as I once did, and start to really respect yourself and set a real goal that you are able to achieve, making maximum effort. Not a mini goal for tomorrow, although that is important too but a big and hard to achieve goal at least two to three years in advance. I hope that my example is the best motivation for women. Believe me, it's too early for you to relax and give up on yourself. Your whole life is ahead of you. And most importantly, it's just beginning, you will succeed. Write out your ideal right now and start walking toward it every day. Go to your dream and to your ideal self no matter what it takes, because that's the only way you can find happiness and no one but you, no psychologist, hear me. No one on this earth but yourself can help you in this. You can do anything. The main thing is to set a specific achievable goal and go every day to your dream, to your real self. Be wise and live happily. And friend, don't forget to subscribe to the Summary Club for becoming more successful, educated, kinder and wiser every day. Save hundreds of hours and dollars spending on boring regular education. Feel free to write your opinions and questions about each video. We read all the comments. 
In addition, go to our official website, where you can find reading materials or watch other videos on channel and links in the description. All the best.